The purpose of these lessons is to show you the logic behind the most basic Chinese characters, beginning with the simplest pictograms and later combining these elements to create more complex characters. If you haven't watched previous lessons, I would recommend that you do so. Keep in mind that these are not conversation lessons. I am merely arranging Chinese characters into groups with a common component so that they are easier to memorize in case you are attempting to learn this language. And by knowing the origin of a character, it's often very helpful in understanding its various connotations today. Today's lesson is on the human foot. Our first character is a pictogram of a foot with protruding toes. Pronounced with a third tone. The pronunciation contains the retroflex R sound that many learners find difficult. As I mentioned in lesson one, this R sound is similar to the sound that you find in words like television or prestige. The tongue curves backwards as if to exaggerate the word germ. germ. Anyway, this foot with protruding toes pictogram now simply means to stand still or stop, with related meanings such as to limit or prohibit. When combined with a negative bu, it means not only, not limited to. Bu zhi, bu zhi. For example, bu zhi yi ban shu, not just one book. Our second character is an ideogram composed of this foot going straight to its destination, which was originally a square depicting an enemy city about to be attacked. It's pronounced fourth tone, zheng, zheng. The square was then reduced to a simple line, but the basic meaning has remained the same. Straight, direct, exact, and later extended to more benign connotations such as correct, proper, upstanding, honest, fair, and virtuous, among others. Documents are similar to books, so the expression zheng ban is the original from which exact copies were directly made. As proof of your identity, authorities will often require that you present the Zhengban of your passport, not a photocopy. This new character, Zheng, can also be combined with a negative Bu that we learned before to create a new character pronounced first tone, Wai, Wai, which means what it says, Bu Zheng or, in other words, crooked or askew. Our fourth new character is a pictogram of a human knee and foot. Pronounced second tone, zu, zu. Originally used to designate a leg, foot, or base of an object, the meaning was extended to the idea of having adequate support, and then to sufficient or enough. If we double this character like we did for ren ren, tian tian, and jiu jiu, we have the expression zu zu which translates into English as fully or at least. For example, we waited for one full day, zu zu yi tian, or I had to read at least a hundred books, zu zu 
一百本书。If we combine 组 with the character for hand 手 ，we get a literary expression describing the close bond between brothers and sisters. 手足，手足 ，like hands and feet belonging to one body. 不足 means insufficient. So, when the holidays roll around, we may find that our office or store is short on workers, understaffed, or in Chinese, 人手不足，人手不足 It also conveys the meaning of deficient, and could be used to describe a child born with a mental or emotional impairment. 天生的不足，天生的不足 a mental or emotional deficiency. If we combine this leg and foot 足 with foot plus toes 指 we have a new phonosemantic character referring specifically to toes. This character is pronounced exactly the same as today's first character, 指。Zh, with a third tone. Chinese often does this, combining different elements to clarify the meaning of an ambiguous or non-specific character. You will recall that the modern usage of zh is almost exclusively for the idea of stop or prohibit. Zhu was then added as the category or radical. And z serves as both a meaning and a pronunciation clue to indicate the toes of the foot. You will later see that z is the radical for dozens of characters referring to running, jumping, kicking, kneeling, and any other foot-related actions. The sixth character in today's lesson is a foot touching a line, representing either the starting point. Or the end point of a journey. Through centuries of writing, the lines of the original ideogram have become much more fluent and ended up the way it looks today. This character is pronounced first tone, z, z. It originally indicated movement toward an arrival at a destination, whether here or over there. In classical Chinese, the meaning of endpoint, over there, was extended to indicate the third person, him, her, it, them, that, or those, and later to include the idea of possession, whatever it belongs to, him, her, that, or those. So, z. Is the classical Chinese equivalent of the unstressed possessive particle de that we learned in lesson three? For example, a human hand could be translated either as 人之手 or 人的手 depending on whether a classical or a more colloquial style is desired. Our last character today is an ideogram of a foot stepping out of a cave or enclosure. With the obvious meaning of to go or come out, but also more abstract ideas such as to appear, happen, produce, expel, etc. It's pronounced first tone, chu, chu. Notice how the foot element has transformed into a very different shape, somewhat like one version of the hand picture in lesson two. Some expressions with this character are, 出生 to be born, 出书 to publish a book, and 出手 to reach out a hand. Here is our color chart with today's seven characters and their correct stroke order. Zh, 
正。走，知，嗯，出，歪。指。The following chart shows how these characters would appear in printed form. To fix the characters in your memory, copy them onto colored sheets of paper, as suggested in previous videos. Blue, green, pink, yellow, and white, to represent the four tones, plus the neutral tone. Review the colored sheets regularly. So, what have we learned in today's lessons? 1. The pictogram for foot with protruding toes, 指, means to stop or prohibit. With negative, 不, it means not limited to, not only. 2. The ideogram 正 means go straight forward, with other connotations such as direct, proper, upstanding, and honest. 3. A zhengben is the original of a document, not a photocopy. 4. When negative bu is combined into one character with zheng, the resulting character wai means crooked or askew. 5. The character for knee and foot, zu, means base, support, and sufficient. When doubled, Zu zu means at least or fully. 6. Like hand and foot, shou zu is an expression describing the close bond between brothers and sisters. 7. The expression of insufficient or deficient is bu zu. Understraft is ren shou bu zu. 8. Tian sheng bu zu describes a congenital condition a mental or emotional deficiency. 9. The two characters zu and zhi combine into one character meaning toes. 10. Zu is a radical for many characters referring to foot-related actions. 11. The ideogram representing either the starting or end point of a journey is zhi. Its most literary use is as the third person pronoun for him, her, it, or them. 12. The character zhi is also used to show possession, much like the colloquial character de. 13. A foot Stepping out of a cave, chu, refers to going or coming out, and related ideas such as appear, happen, produce, expel, etc. 14. Some expressions with chu are chu sheng, to be born, chu shu, to publish a book, and chu shao, to extend a hand. Now you will find a short quiz on single, double, and triple character expressions. See how many you can recall from these five lessons.
Thank you for watching and listening.